everyone, so I'm here with a fun little tag video today and I haven't done one of these in a while and a couple of people have been asking me to do a kind of updated get to know me tag and that kind of thing and this kind of covers all bases really. So I'm going to do the TMI tag which is just kind of a fun random series of questions designed to help to get you know the question, the question in question, the person in question a little bit better. I'm not quite with it today. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get started. I've got them right here in front of me. First question is, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a kind of loose long sleeve top from Zara and on my bottom half, I'm the kind of YouTuber cliche. I'm actually wearing um, kind of jogging bottoms. I don't know if you can see, they're just kind of grey jogging bottoms because I've had a really manic busy week and I'm at home today, I don't have to go anywhere, I've got bits and bobs that I've got to get done and I'm just chilling so I'm being comfortable and being a slob. Um, then the next question is, ever been in love? I have, I am currently, um, yeah that's that really. Ever had a terrible breakup? Funnily enough no, I've not ever had a terrible breakup, I've had kind of very um, mutual kind of civilized breakup if that breakups if that makes sense and I don't know if maybe that stems from I've never had anyone break up with me it's always either been my choice or a mutual thing kind of thing where we just sort of said this isn't working um but maybe if someone had broken up with me then I would be a bit cross and I would think it was terrible but no I don't even have any like hard feelings for any of my ex-boyfriends either um how tall are you I am five foot one and a half so I'm teeny tiny how much do you weigh? Um, my weight really fluctuates. On a good day, it's about 57 kilos. On a bad day, it's about 59 to 60. But um, yeah, that's how much I weigh. Any tattoos? I don't have any tattoos. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there that I'm not a fan of tattoos at all. Um, I it, it, It's really, really a case of personal taste and I can understand the artistic view behind them and that they're kind of unique for you and that kind of thing. Um, and that if they've got a special meaning to you, that's fine. And I don't mind them on other people. Um, but personally, I wouldn't ever get one. And it's not for me. Um, any piercings? I've got my ears pierced, that's it. I did have two holes in that ear and one in that ear. I've let the second hole just close up now because it was kind of pointless and I never had anything in it. But only my ears pierced. I've not got anything else pierced. I do kind of like nose piercings. But again, I just feel like pretty much everybody went through a phase of having it. And that kind of put me off when something's really popular that does tend to put me off that's kind of how i feel about tattoos everybody i know has got a tattoo and it kind of makes me want to not have one so um that's the same with piercings I do you like belly button piercings if you've got a really flat belly which unfortunately i haven't so i wouldn't um like it on myself but i think if you've got a really nice toned tummy then they can look really sexy um otp i have no idea what that means Maybe I should have Googled that before. I don't know what OTP means. Let me know in the comments below if you know what it means. Uh, favourite show? Um, my favourite TV show? My favourite TV show of all time is Sex and the City. Huge Sex and the City fan. I quote Sex and the City. I Someone can tell me a story and I'll be like, oh, it's like that episode in Sex and the City where blah, 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 blah. And then I'm like an embarrassed, huge fan girl. Um, but I love Sex and the City. There's loads of other ones I really like. I really like Game of Thrones. I loved Homeland. I loved Breaking Bad. Um, what else? At the moment, I'm really liking the Ross Kemp Extreme World, the latest series. I love him. I think he does such a great job of doing such complicated, um, such complicated topics, and he kind of delivers them in a really professional way. But it's not detached. I don't know. I just really like that. But um, yeah, uh, favorite bands oh my god i don't have favorite bands i've got the worst taste in music on the planet i've got taste in music that kind of matches my 10 year old sisters it's not good it's very eclectic i like random things from all over the place but generally speaking i don't like cool people with music my 15 year old sister for example has got excellent taste in music she likes like um i don't know just cool things and she like listens to the dire straits and cool people music i'm not oh it go ahead and admit I really like Taylor Swift's music not to be the kind of YouTuber cliche who's obsessed with Taylor Swift I just like her music and I've just got very 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 shady taste in music everybody who knows me will tell you that um for something you miss um I miss my family my family live abroad and I live over here and I really really miss my family and all my girlfriends I miss my girlfriends terribly and I wish I could see my family every day um, 
favourite song? I don't know if I could pick a favourite song because there's a lot I really like, but two that stand out that I never ever get sick of. These are probably really random choices. Um, the first one is a song by Texas and it's called In Demand. It's the one with Alan Rickman in the video. Obsessed with that song. Never ever get tired of that. And the second one is Lady Gaga's You and I. I love her voice in that song and I've just listened to that song over and over and over again. So really random. Um, your zodiac sign. My zodiac sign is Scorpio. Is that what zodiac means? I'm having like a really stupid moment. Scorpio, I think. <laughs> um, quality you look for in a partner. I was actually talking about this the other day with my boyfriend because we were watching The Millionaire Matchmaker or I was watching it. He was unwillingly watching it. Um, and how they kind of have the list of what they're looking for. So I want somebody who looks like a Kardashian, who's funny, who's a certain religion, who's a certain height, who's got a certain job, who's got a certain amount of money. And I just sort of thought, I never ever looked at people like that. Like I didn't have a list of what I wanted. I had kind of a list of things that I knew I didn't want, but they were kind of obvious choices. Um, but a sense of humour and a generally nice guy, I kind of was never really the type that like went for bad boys. I did have one boyfriend that was probably not a very good idea, um, but I like just a nice guy. Probably because I'm kind of quite the opposite. I'm kind of very tough and harsh, and I like someone that's not like that. Um, favorite quote? I don't have a favorite quote, um, like a live by quote, but I love quotes in general. I've got so many that I love, and like on Instagram, I always look at them and that kind of thing. And some of them are just really shallow, silly things, and then other ones are kind of, I don't know, I can't think of an example, but I like just kind of, my general sort of, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. I like loads of random quotes. I haven't got like a quote to live by, you know, like everyone sort of says, you know, like, treat people how you'd want to be treated and all that kind of thing. They kind of go without saying, but I haven't got one that I think is totally me. Um... Favourite actor, this is a good category because I love um, actors and I love people that can act. There's so many that I really like. I'll do men first. So I think that um, the guy that played Walt in Breaking Bad, what's his name, Brian Cranston, amazing acting, flawless, flawless, flawless performance. That was great. Um, Christian Bale, I think, is an amazing actor. The kind of, you know, like old classics like um, Clint Eastwood, I think, is really great. Leonardo DiCaprio, I think, is really good and kind of doesn't get enough credit for being so great. Um, oh my god, there's loads. I love people that can act. I'm so jealous of people that can act. Um, then my favourite actress. I think Jennifer Lawrence is really good. I think she's really kind of versatile. And in Silver Linings, I think she was fantastic. She's kind of my general girl crush anyway, but um, I think she's a really great actress. And who else do I think is really good? Uh, Claire Danes in Homeland, amazing. The part she does in that is just flawless. Um, yeah, I'll stop now because I could go on for ages and ages. I just generally love people that can act. <laughs> Favourite colour? This kind of depends on what we're talking about. Um, in clothing, I'm going to go with grey. I love grey. Um, yeah, kind of favourite colour. If I had to pick one colour forever, that was my favourite. Grey. <laughs> Is that really, really miserable? Um, loud music or soft? Soft music. I don't like loud music at all. My boyfriend does that when we're in the car. He turns, if it's something that he, like, that he likes, he turns it up really loud and I'm like, my ears are gonna burst in a minute. I don't like it. Um, where do you go when you're sad? I don't go anywhere. It generally involves slobbing around on the sofa and food. Um, how long does it take you to shower? Not long. I, I don't take ages to shower. Probably about five, ten minutes. Um, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Depending on what I'm doing, um, it can vary, but generally speaking, not too long, about 20 minutes. Ever been in a physical fight? I'm the oldest of five, um, and <laughs> I'm I was going to say we're very violent. We're not a violent family, but um, yeah, I'm the oldest of five, and my brother's like the only boy so he had to take his boyness out on somebody so we did used to like have a lot of physical fights when we were little like joking messing around kind of thing but that's the only physical fight i've ever been and i haven't like been in a street fight or anything um 
turn on. I'm presuming this means like in men, um, a sense of humour, nothing is hotter than a sense of humour. Okay, that could be misinterpreted because like Lee Evans is funny but I don't fancy him. So just a sense of humour, good dress sense, good dress sense so, so turns me on when it comes to a man. If a guy dresses badly, I won't even, I can't even deal with it, it just really, really kills it for me. Um, turn off. Um, yeah, that said, bad dress sense. Bad shoes. Oh my god, when men wear bad shoes, that really turns me off. Obviously, like, um, regular things like racism, I can't stand. It's one of those subjects where I feel really, really strongly about it, and I hate it when sometimes you talk to somebody, and it can be someone that you've known for a long time, and I tend to kind of try and stay aware, of, stay clear of those types of topics, because sometimes they'll let something slip or say something that I just think is so racist, and I so wouldn't agree with it, and I won't want to kind of get into a conversation and make everything really awkward, but then it will put me off that person forever, and I won't be able to kind of... I know you should, like, respect other people's opinions and that kind of thing, but when it comes to things like that, I can't, and it will really, really put me off that person. I'll never see them in the same light again, so sometimes I'd rather not know, because I'm really weird about that. Um, the reason I started YouTube, I watched a bunch of people's videos, and I thought it looked fun, and I thought, like, maybe I'll try and do that. It wasn't kind of a really thought-out process, I just thought it looked fun. Um, fears, mice, oh, I hate mice, they're just so horrible, and like, hamsters, anything that's under the size of a rabbit, I don't like, I don't like how small and scuttly, and I just don't like them. Um, last thing that made you cry, I was watching Ross Kemp's Extreme World yesterday, and it was the one about sex trafficking in India, and I cried when I was watching that. Um, the book... Last, no, where are we? There's so many questions. Meaning behind your, no. Last time you said you loved somebody, actually. Uh, last night, to my boyfriend, we say it a lot. Um, meaning behind your YouTube name. The Sparkalicious is actually a famous OPI, um, well not famous, but it's an OPI nail polish name. It's like a glittery one and I just thought it was a really cute name, so I stole it. Um, mm, last book you read. The last book I read was uh, the first... Game of Thrones book, um, I finished that a while ago. The book you're currently reading is the second edition of the Game of Thrones series. I'm chawing through them and they're such hard reads. I love the programme but I'm not sure about the books because they're just so detailed and they're really hard to read and I'm not someone that likes kind of like just silly light hearted books. I kind of like a bit of everything but they're very difficult to read. Um, uh, where are we? Last show you watched? I watched this morning, the beginning of it this morning. <laughs> Does that count? Um, last person you talked to, my boyfriend on the phone now because he called me up to ask if I wanted to have a pizza tonight and watch a movie. Um, I'm getting so confused with these questions. Where even am I? I'm going to have to put my finger on them. Right. The relationship between you and the last person you texted. I haven't got my phone near me now. But um, it was my sister. Um, Favourite food? Pizza. Definitely. Pizza addict. Place you want to visit? I really want to go to New York badly. I want to go to Vegas as well, um, Australia and Italy. I have been to Italy when I was a kid, um, but I don't remember very well. I was about four, and I really want to go there again. Um, do you have a oh, last last place you were? Uh, I was in Israel over the Christmas period because I was seeing my family. Um, do you have a crush, like a celebrity crush? Um, Jennifer Lawrence is my girl crush. Obsessed with Jennifer Lawrence. Um, Chris Hemsworth, oh my god, Chris Hemsworth is just, David Beckham a little bit, um, yeah, I'll stop now because I've probably got loads more. Um, last time you kissed someone, this morning, um, I kissed my boyfriend before I went out, um, 
last time you were insulted last week and um it wasn't an online insult actually it was an in-person insult and it was far worse and it was a prolonged annoying experience that really put me in a bad mood i won't go into the entire story of what it was about but yes it wasn't very nice um favorite flavor of sweet i like the sour ones like sour cherry and that kind of thing or like apple um what instruments do you play? No instruments, and I wish I could. I wish I could play the piano, but I don't want to have to learn to play the piano. I wish I was just genetically gifted and could just do it. Um, last sport you played? <laughs> I don't play sport at all. Uh, favorite movie? I've got top three favorite movies: Dirty Dancing, like hands down, no brainer. Um, Breakfast at Tiffany's and The Breakfast Club. Breakfast at Tiffany's is one of my all-time favourites because I just love her and I love the fashion in it and everything. Dirty Dancing, for obvious reasons, is just perfection. Um, I like kind of really good films as well. Like, I do watch proper good films, but they're my favourite. The last really good one I watched, actually, was called Out of, was it Out of the Furnace. And it was Christian Bale and Casey Affleck and Forrest Whitaker. That was a really good film. See, now I'm thinking, ah, Forrest Whitaker's a really good actor. The Last King of Scotland was a great film. I'm kind of, I'm obsessed with people that can act, I told you. Um, last song you sang, <laughs> this is really embarrassing, but I, um, <sighs> I like One Direction. I was in denial about this for a very long time, and I realised that it kind of sounds like I'm just being the average typical YouTuber that, like, proclaims their love One Direction. I don't like them in a kind of, like, crazy fangirl way. I just think their songs are really happy, and it they come on a lot. And every time they come on, I always have, like, the music channels on when I'm cooking and in the car and that kind of thing, and they come on a lot. And their songs are just happy, and they kind of end up singing, and I like their songs anyway. So um, this morning I heard something and then I was in the kitchen and I was kind of mumbling to myself and I was singing um, that, maybe it's the way she walks, that one. Is it the best song ever? I was singing that and I went for what person and he was like, are you singing? I was like, yeah, yeah, I was. And he was just like, you should be ashamed. <laughs> um, Favourite chat up line? Oh my God. Um... <laughs> I had someone say to me once, they, it, this wasn't Hebrew, so I'm kind of translating it so it might not have the same appeal, but somebody actually once said to me, stopped in the street, it was a guy on the motorbike, and he said, is your dad a, is it like a window installer or something like that? Um, and I sort of went, what? <laughs> no. And then he went, because it's crystal clear that you want me, or something like that. It's something that like didn't even make sense. I don't know what he was talking about. And I was just like, yeah, see you later. But they, yeah, yeah, I've had like really, really stupid, stupid ones. That you know, did it hurt when you fell down from heaven? And it was just like, will it? It will hurt when I'm going to punch you in a minute. Um, have you ever used it? Oh, like a favourite chat of mine. I've answered the question wrong. Um, I don't have a chat line, but um, if I if you do like someone, I think like kind of trying to sort of do the like, you know, well maybe give me a call sometime and like maybe we can hang out or something. That kind of thing would kind of work for me. I've never done it, but I wouldn't shy away from doing that. Um, last time you hung out with someone. Does my boyfriend count? He's the only person I've hung out with in the past week. Oh no, actually I hung out with my friend on Wednesday night. Um, but yeah, last night, it, my boyfriend. Um, who would answer the? Who should answer these questions next? I'm gonna tag Miss Budget Beauty, and I'm gonna tag um, Laura Loves Beauty, and ooh, Mrs. Ginger 2013. I want to say whose name is Karen. I can never remember it. Um, and I don't know. If I can think of anyone else that I'm going to tag, I will put it all in the down bar for you. But I hope you enjoyed this. It was just kind of a random bit of fun. And I will see you all in my next video.